Right everyone, just a fun video today, just for a laugh. It is a bank holiday Monday for Americans. That means it's a national holiday and um, basically it's Easter. So I'm having a bit of fun, relaxing, enjoying lots of food, etc. But I thought I'd put up a fun video to today. So the question is, do you or do you not believe in reincarnation? Now, a lot of samurai and ninja students follow ancient samurai and ninja ways and often say they follow Buddhism. And they have the little altar or the Buddhist idea, the Buddhist statue, and they, they genuinely say, hold on a minute, you know, I love I love Buddhism, I'm, I'm a Buddhist. But does that mean that everyone who is massively interested in samurai and ninja culture, I'd like to explain more about in a minute, is a reincarnation of an old samurai and an old ninja? Surely, by definition, you should believe yes. So if you're watching this video because you're a real nutter fan for samurai and ninja, are you a reincarnated samurai ninja? Okay, so let's go through. That's the question in the first minute of the video. So let's go through the rest of it. Okay, so first of all, um, ninja and samurai are popular. They've been popular for a few hundred years. So you can always say, oh, it's because they're popular. People like them. But why is it some people dedicate their money, their lives, their emotional well-being, all to the idea of some random old warriors that used to exist, that no longer exist, once upon a time in Japan. You know, some people are well interested in African culture. Some people are extremely interested in Viking culture or they're extremely interested in hat making or the history of something. And you're like, why are they so passionate about that? So of course you could say it's just because they're passionate, but the question becomes, if you are a fan of samurai ways and ninja ways and you absolutely are like, this is the path for me and people get all the Buddhist statues out and everything, by pure logic by definition you have to believe in reincarnation if you are a buddhist you can't be a buddhist and not believe in reincarnation so if you believe in buddhism you believe in reincarnation so if you believe in reincarnation it believe you believe that you're paying for sins in the past and therefore is it possible that you are obsessed with samurai and ninja because of that. Now think of it this way. That means like the Don Roll is of the world and the the um the sort of the, the bougie camp people and all that and everything are all like at war with Cummins because it's some karma that has to be played out on this field. You know, and instead of being like, all right, okay, I see that, Anthony, that's quite good. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing there. We'll take that history. And everybody's like, you know, it's just normal. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit of history. And we all believe in this and you believe in that. And let's have a look at it like civilised people. Be, you know, civilised people. But these people are aggressively angry. Maybe is it karma that they have to work through to try and, you know, beat out the karma from the past? And of course, the way karma works is if you give an, karma doesn't work that you pay some off. It gives you a choice to do something if you like. It's a difficult conversation. I'll do it in a different video. But basically, a situation presents itself and the universe gives you another chance to deal with that situation. And if you deal with it badly, you you get bad things happen to you. So it gives you a chance every time to work through your karma and go into a positive way. So when something happens, two things come off it. First of all, karma is paid for, whether it's good or bad. And second is a chance is there given to create new good or bad karma so there we go so the question is is the Krista Jacobson's the the um, um god I've not seen him for so long Scott Bio is dead whatever his name is Eshler guy um you haven't seen him for like two years now he doesn't turn up um but I've seen the other day so he was started being aggressive towards someone online I thought oh, bloody hell not seen him for a while so is it that these people are the reincarnations of Samurai and Ninja, and they're accumulating more karma, bad karma points, because they're constantly in a world, in a fix of hatred, or is it total nonsense? What do you think? Fun video for Bank Holiday Easter Monday. Happy Easter, everyone, and uh, remember, chickens and bunnies have nothing to do with Jesus Christ.